Hi, and welcome back to Cat and Dogs on Wheels. I'm Cat, this is Smokey, and this is RJ, my crew. Today, we're going to build this wonderful love seat that I'm sitting on. So you would think that this is a sewing project, but really it isn't. The only thing I sewed was the edges to my curtain flap. So I had three edges on each curtain that I sewed. As far as the costs go, my cedar chest was a gift from my grandmother when I was a child. Very sentimental piece. The plywood that I used for the back and the arms was scraps of plywood that I already had from other projects. The four inch foam on the seat was donated to me by my sister. It was in it, odd pieces and I fit them together to fit the love seat top and glued them together with E6000 glue. I have a link to that on the description below. I bought one inch foam for the back and for the arm tops for $20 from Amazon. I got my two plastic pantries from Amazon. Those were $20 each. I got my upholstery tax on Amazon. Those were $17. You might think that's a little high, but they were big and sturdy and had the rustic westerny feel that I wanted. So they were worth the $17. I bought my material at Walmart and it was $5 a yard and I got two yards. So $10 for my fabric. So the project cost me $87, but I ended up with more storage than I thought I was going to get out of it. So let's build. The seat was pretty simple. I just glued the four inch foam to the top of the cedar chest and then stretched the material around it and attached it with upholstery tacks and staples. The straight line was a little tough. Here's a blast from the past. So, very wonky. It is so hard to do a straight line. Now, obviously, I gave up on a straight line here, so it's really wonky, but it's going to be covered up by the arms, so I didn't worry about it and just slapped it up. And then I had to decide, what am I going to... Hello. What am I going to do? So, to do a straight line on the front, excuse me, RJ, I attached a string so that I could nail across straight. And it, believe it or not, it's still hard. So, for the arms, I built three sided boxes. You will notice that I have one by ones on the tops and the bottoms of the sides. Those were so I could have a, something substantial to screw the tops on and to attach them to the floor. Then I sewed the edges of the curtain flaps and then I glued the one inch foam to the top of the arms and then I wrapped them again like a present and secured them with upholstery tacks and staples. So the back was pretty easy too. I just glued the one inch foam to the plywood and then stretched the material around and stapled it. Now the positioning of the back was a different story. I started out with the cedar chest pushed up against the wall, but that left the back straight up and down like this and that's not comfortable. So I pulled it out a few inches, about six, eight inches to get the slope I wanted but then the, it was squishing up against the windows and messing up the curtains. So I built a shelf on the windowsill just to keep it from going all the way back. And the results are I have this great comfortable love seat with mega storage. Let's do a quick tour of that mega storage. Okay, inside the cedar chest is food storage. Some for me and some for the dogs, held up by my giant space ball bat. I'm really happy about my pantry storage. I'm so excited I got to use it in this build. 
just flip it up, pull it out, and we got three tiers of food storage times two with two arms. The storage I didn't expect to get, the happy accident from messing with the back leaning, is take off the back, and I've got lower storage where I put work clothes, work boots, some spare towels, dress boots, long things like the broom. I rigged up this little thing that wraps around my tripod, and then I hook it there and keeps that steady. Then on top, I have a little shelf that ended up being the perfect place to put all my wires. Tuck away the wires so they don't show. Are you ready for the grand finale? Okay, let's go. So thanks for hanging with me through another video. I hope to see you next week where we build my bed with no experience. But it's a lot of fun. So, till next week, here's what my crew has to say.